The film begins in a small fight club, where Harry and Ron, two fighters, are battling it out. Then Frankie arrives and watches them. Harry is quite fast in the fight and beats Ron badly, winning the match. Elwood enters the ring, and Harry sees him and says he'll take him down right there. Elwood takes off his hoodie and shows his face. Upon seeing Elwood's face, Harry became scared and said he didn't want to die. He ran away from there. Leaving the fight, Elwood receives a lot of money. He heads towards his car. Frankie approached Elwood and expresses that she had come to take Harry because she needed him, but now she thinks Elwood is better. She explains that she runs a restaurant called Roadhouse in Florida, and some gangsters there have been causing a lot of trouble. She wants him to handle the job of a bouncer there. Elwood says he won't have the time. Frankie gives him her number and leaves. Elwood was ready to end his life by colliding with the train, but then he decided against it. He tries to start his car, but it didn't start, and because of this, his car was hit by the train with great force. However, Elwood survived, and Frankie's number was in front of him. The next day, Elwood reached Florida, where there was a bookstore right in front of the bus station. A girl named Kate gave Elwood a book about the special things in his city and told him to read it, and he also meets Kate's father near the store. Elwood says he came to work at a place called Roadhouse. Elwood leaves and goes to Roadhouse. Elwood meets bartender Laura, and then a guy named James tells Elwood that he has always been a hero to him. In reality, Elwood was a former heavyweight boxing world champion. Frankie was watching as at night, in the club, everyone started fighting with each other. But slowly, everything calmed down there. Then, a gangster named Dan came with his biker gang who started causing trouble in the club and harassing a girl. James intervened, and Dan was threatening him, but then Elwood stepped forward and suggested they should talk outside. Dan refused. He went towards the bikes, and the gangsters followed him. Elwood told them to leave now, or it wouldn't be good. Dan said Elwood would get beaten first. Elwood started fighting with Dan and all the boys, easily taking them down alone, but he was kind-hearted so he took them to the hospital and got everyone treated. He claimed that he was the one who beat up those guys. Then he left. A nurse named Ellie came to Elwood and said, you must think you're a hero, beating up gangsters, but because of this, good people don't get treated. Elwood replied, I'm not a gangster. I was doing it for money. Ellie noticed he was bleeding and Elwood admitted, yeah, a little. She started treating Elwood's wound and then he thanked her and left. Outside, some gangster s had their eyes on Elwood. He returned to Roadhouse, where Frankie gave him money. Elwood said, this place looks beautiful. Frankie replied, yeah. Then he remembered that years ago, Elwood had gone to participate in a boxing match, and then he entered the ring from there. Remembering this, Elwood got up, and Laura had brought food for Elwood there. Laura said that Frankie had called many bouncers like you before, and they all ran away from the gangsters. But now that you've come, I feel everything will be okay. Elwood said, thank you for bringing breakfast. Elwood goes to the bookstore from there. If you're still enjoying this video, please like, comment, and share this video, and make sure to subscribe to the channel. Elwood meets Kate and said he had some computer work, so Kate let him use her computer. Elwood got busy with his work, while outside Dan's gangsters were bothering people. Kate took out a bat to scare them, and they started making fun of her. Elwood comes out, and seeing him, the gangsters leave from there. Kate says she hates gangsters because her father had to take another job since they couldn't earn much from this bookstore. On the other hand, all of Dan's gangsters went to their boss, Ben. The gangsters started saying that our boss Dan is still injured in the hospital. And then the gangster says that the bouncer was quite strange, he was talking to us nicely and then he attacked us. Ben says, you are of no use, he will take care of the bouncer himself. In the evening, people started arguing again at the roadhouse, and Elwood gave James tip to fight them, and James stepped forward and separated the people and then started beating them up, sometimes with Elwood's help. They would throw out all the people who were causing trouble, and everyone became even crazy about Elwood. He taught other boys as well and they all joined together to stop people from fighting in the club. Elwood dreams to step forward in his fight, where he was mocking his opponent, and he slaps him. Seeing this dream, 
Elwood woke up and he was quite disturbed, and the next day he went to a restaurant for breakfast. There he saw Ellie, and she came to Elwood, where Elwood said that the food here is quite good, as I heard. Along with this, the people here are quite angry, and then Ellie says that this place has always been different. At night, Elwood was going home from the roadhouse, and Dan came in his truck from behind. Elwood jumped from there and saved himself, but Dan brought the car back again, who got out of the car and then collided with the water, but he saved his life and emerged. Elwood went back to his boat, but Dan was there with a gun and started saying that I wanted to show your death as a road accident, but now I will have to shoot you. Elwood started hitting him and threw Dan out of the boat, and then Dan said I won't let you go. Elwood replied, I don't want to fight you, but then the crocodile came and grabbed Dan Elwood went to save Dan, but the crocodile pulled Dan into the water and swam away. The next day, the whole town was quite troubled by this incident. A man there said that the crocodiles here have always been considered dangerous. Elwood started thinking about it and then left from there. A gangster told him that our boss Ben had called for him. Elwood went to him and broke the fingers of that gangster's hand, saying if his boss wanted to meet, he should come himself and leaves. He meets Frankie at the roadhouse. Frankie said it's good that Dan died because he had been bothering us for a long time. Elwood wondered why Dan was involved in this place. There must be some reason for it. On the other side, Ben was told by his gangsters that Elwood had said if he wanted to meet, Ben had to go to him. This angered Ben greatly. He received a call from his father, Gerald, which scared Ben a lot and he throws his phone into the sea. On the other side, we saw a gangster named Knox, who seemed quite dangerous. He received a call from Ben's father, who told him that now he had to clear out the roadhouse. Ellie comes to Elwood's boat and asks to go for a ride in the boat. Elwood replies, sure, and both of them went to a nearby island. There, they both descended and started to relax. Then Eli said, no one will find Dan's body. This place has always been quite dangerous, and you must know that too. On the other side, Ben arrived at his house by the shore, where he meets Knox. Knox hit Ben in the face, injuring him, and then said, your father sent me here to solve the bouncer problem. But Ben is confused as his father is in jail, to which Knox tells him that your father's spies are everywhere. Ben says, give me a chance where I can remove that bouncer myself from here. Knox says, I'll give you a chance, but if he doesn't leave you, I'll make him disappear from the world. Then Ellie left Elwood near his boat, and then the police arrived there. They caught Elwood and Elwood meet Sheriff, and he started beating Elwood, showing his gun, saying, get out of here, or I'll kill you. Ellie comes there and slaps the Sheriff. Then she took Elwood and left. On the way, Ellie said that Sheriff is my father, who used to be good before, but then he became a slave to Gerald, and now his son Ben. While on the other side, two of Ben's men approached the store near Kate's to set it on fire. Kate confronted them there. At night, Elwood came back to the roadhouse again, where he met Ben. Ben said, I knew you wouldn't leave here even if I paid you. I found out about you, that you used to fight MMA fights and your last fight was with your best friend. You defeated him but still killed him. Why did you do that? He lost. What was the need to kill him? Elwood was also quite troubled by this because he could never control his anger. And in the heat of the moment, he also killed his friend. He didn't respond to Ben there. And Ben, enraged, went outside to Knox and told him to kill Elwood. Knox, with his gangsters, stormed into the club and started wreaking havoc, beating everyone up, including others fighting in the club. Elwood was trying to keep his anger in check there, and then he stepped forward to stop Knox. Knox recognized him, and Knox said, I've come for you. They both started fighting, and they were both quite fast and giving each other a tough time. They fought until they both fell outside, where Elwood was quite injured, and he left from there. By then, the whole club was destroyed, and seeing this, Frankie was also quite upset. On the other side, Elwood was leaving from there, and then he met Frankie there, and she said, Forgive me, I've hidden many things from you. I don't want to sell my roadhouse. Elwood replied, I don't care who's dying, and I'm scared. You understand that. And he leaves from there. Elwood arrived at the bus station, where he saw Kate's entire shop was burnt. He entered the shop and asked for Kate, 
and a man tells him that Kate and her father were taken to the hospital. And then he went to Ben's house. He saw a gangster, who said he must have liked seeing Kate. Ben said I was leaving because I've always been afraid of my own anger. He attacked the gangster and finished him off. Elwood said I'm afraid of my own anger because if I get angry, I won't spare anyone. Elwood threw his body in the back of his truck and then a boy there said that Ben's money was coming, which he had to give to the mafia, and I was just here to hang out. Elwood let the boy go and he left from there. Elwood remembered that he had beaten his friend quite badly during the fight, and out of anger, he had killed his friend. Remembering this, Elwood felt quite upset in his boat, and the very next day, an officer was going to give a lot of money to the mafia, and Elwood kills him and took the money. He checked the bag and found a lot of money in it. He came to his boat and was prepared to bomb there. Just then, Jim arrived and said, Son, Ben has kidnapped my daughter Ellie, and he wants his money back. Elwood said, I'll bring the money to your boat. Jim agreed, and a few hours later, Elwood arrived with a boat near the yacht where Ben and Jim were. Jim said, I don't see any money with you. Elwood replied, I don't see Ellie with you either. Ben said that he was trapped downstairs. Meanwhile, Knox was approaching from a distance, and Elwood pressed a button, causing his boat to explode. As a result, water started filling Ben's boat too. Elwood came down from there and found Ellie, and they both swam up. But as soon as she approached her boat, Ben grabbed her and took her away in the boat. On the other side, Knox was behind Elwood, so Elwood jumped and grabbed Knox's boat. They started fighting on both boats, and Elwood threw Knox out of the boat, but Knox held onto a rope and was coming back. Ben also brought his ship in front of Elwood's boat, and they were about to collide. Elwood jumped into the boat, and Knox fell into the water from there. Taking the direct route towards the roadhouse, Elwood and Ellie jumped from the boat. However, the boat collided into the roadhouse. On the other side, Knox climbed up onto a bridge and hijacked a car there. Elwood arrived at the roadhouse, where Ben attempted to attack him. Elwood fought back, managing to strike Ben when Knox arrived from behind, and Elwood engaged in a fight with him. Both were ready to fight, exchanging blows, injuring each other. Elwood tried to grab Knox to strike him, but Knox caught hold of Elwood and attacked him with a piece of wood. Ben stepped forward and tried to kill him, but Knox approached him and struck Ben. Then, he was about to attack Elwood when Elwood rose and grabbed Knox, causing him several injuries with the wood pieces. As a result, he got wounded and eventually passed out. A while later, Ellie and Jim arrived there, and Jim said, Leave this place, I'll handle the rest. Elwood leaves. After a few hours, Frankie was with his entire team at the roadhouse. They all came together and started working on fixing the roadhouse. On the other side, Elwood was at the bus stop. When he met Kate, she asked him if he was leaving from there, and Elwood said, yes. Elwood was quite happy to see Kate back, and by then, Kate's father sees a bag of money in his shop. He comes running to stop Elwood, but by then, Elwood had already boarded the bus and had left. In the post credit scene of the movie, we see chaos in the hospital caused by Knox who had survived.